Hey guys, it's Ron and I am here out by our pool to demonstrate a dynamic warm-up that you can do before your workouts or before you go for a run. Okay, so we're going to just do 30 seconds on each movement. I'm going to keep time with the stopwatch. Um, you can do them for longer intervals. I definitely wouldn't do it shorter. So 30, 30 seconds would be the minimum that I would do the movements for. But you can go ahead and feel it out based on how you your body is feeling, what time of day it is, if it's really early, if it's in the afternoon, if it's in the evening. So um, feel that out with the intervals, no less than, than 30, I would, 30 seconds, I would say. Okay, so I'm gonna start the stopwatch. We're gonna start with some high knees. All right, 30 seconds on the high knees. All right, ready, go. So our level one would look like this with a high knee march. Standing nice and tall, abs in, arms driving, or we can take it even to a more athletic high knee. Okay, so choose the level that works for you. Just showing you a couple of different progressions. And then we'll move into a standing cross crunch. All right, we're gonna bring the elbows up, twisting from the hips, rotating from the shoulders, elbows to opposite knee. Maintain your balance, feet stay wide. Pick it up. And rest, good. Now let's go ahead and do some trunk twists. Warm up the low back. Get the core activated. Again, 30 seconds here. Stabilize your hips, right? Try not to move your hips. Rotate from the shoulders. We've got 10 seconds left here. And then we'll extend and reach. One of my favorite sequences to really warm up the core and then stretch through the lats and the back of the shoulders. Keep reaching and squeezing your abs at the end of the range of the movement. Stand tall. About 10 seconds left here. And then we're gonna reach overhead and pivot on the same side. So I'm rotating at the hip, pivoting from the toe on the lower body. We're getting a nice long reach. Think about getting long from your ankle to your wrist on the same side. Reach, got about 10 seconds here. Reach. And rest, let's do some hip rotators. And we work some rotation into the hips by pivoting. Now we're just gonna take them in maintain your balance if you need to be by a wall to stabilize to do this you can you can hold on to something so that the balance doesn't become the focus of the movement we want to make sure that we're focusing on hip rotation draw a circle with the knee as you step in and then 30 seconds going out the gatekeeper open the door open the gate Swing the gate open, maintain your balance. Again, if you need to use a wall or something to touch, maintain your balance, you can do that. Okay, that would be your other progressions. And rest, good. Now we're gonna get into some full body extensions. Let's step back a little bit, feet wide, right? Abs tight, standing nice and tall. Chest is up, shoulders back. We're gonna squat, we'll reach. 30 seconds here.
and you want to get your hips down, keeping your chest up. Your abs are tight, pushing your hips back, and then a nice long reach at the top, 10 seconds. And then we're going to rotate, we're going to squat and then reach, rotate. Pivot. Nice and long. We want to move in all planes and directions before we take our intensity up. And we're just preparing our body to move at a higher intensity. So doing movements in a low intensity to get your heart rate up, get your body temperature up, to lubricate, lubricate your joints and ligaments, it's very important. And rest, cool. Gonna get into a little bit of a jumping jack. Okay, so plyometric movement. All right, we're gonna do 30 seconds. Level one looks like this. Reach out laterally, reach overhead. Level two, and we're just gonna keep it nice and light. It's a dynamic warm up. We don't wanna overexert. You literally just wanna get the body temperature up, get the heart rate up. Ten seconds. Stay nice and light on your feet. If you need to rest in the interval, that's fine too. Right? Again, we're just warming up. Just try not to look for perfection at this stage of the game. We just want to get into our movements and rest. Great. We're going to start working into the glutes, the hamstrings. Open up the low back a little bit more. Do some toe touches. I'm going to turn sideways. Hopefully, y'all can still see me. Hand to opposite foot, extend that leg out, extend that leg out. 30 seconds here. Again, try to keep a soft bend in the knee, flex the foot, meaning the toe's coming back to the body. You're gonna reach with the opposite hand to the opposite foot. And rest. We're going to come into some windmills now. Again, focusing on a hip hinge here, feet wide, arms wide. We're going to push the hips back. And we're going to reach either at the knee, the shin, the ankle, the foot, the toes, or the ground. Okay, your choice. You're going to work at your progression, at your level. You want to push the hips back. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see that. Push the hips back, crossing it up. Another 10 seconds here. should be feeling this here in the low back all the way through what's called the posterior chain. and rest. We're going to do what's called scoops. Again, focusing on posterior chain, low back, glutes, hamstrings. You're going to extend your leg while balancing and weight bearing on the opposite leg. Okay? Keep your leg straight. Foot is flexed, meaning toes coming back. Right? You're going to scoop through by dropping your chest and shoulders towards the ground and then alternate. Again, extend the leg flex the foot as you weight bear on the opposite leg. As you drop the shoulders and the chest, your leg stays straight. You push your hips back and that gives us that stretch into the hamstrings. And I'm just alternating. Maintain a straight leg. Flex the foot. Try not to rush, okay? This is a warm up, so we want to use precision as much as possible. So take your time. And in taking your time, leave yourself plenty of time to get your dynamic warm up in. Okay, there you go. And rest. 
We're going to do some standing hinges, some single leg hinges. A little bit of a balance here. We're going to st stabilize on one leg. Right? We're going to come down and hinge at the hip. That's going to stretch from the low back through the glute, through the hamstring, through the calf, through the heel. Okay? So I'm going to alternate. If you need to modify this, you can be by a wall, you can t finger touch the wall, and then the inside leg would move, right? If I, so if this was a wall here, I would finger touch it here so I could maintain my balance. I could hinge and reach for the floor. Obviously, you wouldn't alternate if you were holding the wall. So you just do about 10 on one side and then 10 on the other. should feel a nice stretch all through here. So you loose through your hamstrings. Great. And rest. All right, we're going to do a couple more here. Uh, let's focus on a runner stretch. Okay, one of my favorite uh, stretches to do. We're going to come down on the ground. Okay, so I'm going to come down on the ground here. You can also modify by using something like a bench. You can get into a high plank here, okay, feet back, flat back, abs tight, you're just going to step forward, keeping your knee wide, and alternate. Step wide, bend that back knee, drop it, step back, alternate. Okay. On the ground, it will look a lot like this. I hope you can still see me. Nice wide steps, opening up the hips, stretching the hip flexors, warming up the upper body, and rest. You got a couple more. Here we're going to work on, let's work on some walkouts. Again, focusing on this posterior chain here. We're going to walk out, hands on the ground, into a high plank, abs tight, back is flat. Walk your hands in. Come back to standing. Or keep your hands on the ground, depending on what your progression is, right? Level one, you would come back to standing. Otherwise, just keep your hands on the floor. Walk them out to high plank. Walk them in. Walk them out. 30 seconds, you should be able to get about four to five walkouts. That's all we really need. Again, just prepping the body before a workout or a run. And rest. And then lastly, lastly, let's get into some mountain climbers. Okay, again, so we're gonna move to the floor. Your progression, right? You could either work from a bench or here out on the patio furniture or just go straight to the ground. I'm gonna do my mountain climbers here so you see a progression. High plank off the end here. I'm gonna drive the knees in. Squeeze your abs as you drive your knees into the chest. Hands under your shoulders. Stack your joints, your shoulder, elbow, and wrist should all be stacked like a column. And also get a little bit athletic. On the ground looks like this. Again, 30 seconds just to get the heart rate up. And rest. And there you go. There is your dynamic warm-up that you can use before your workouts or your run. Your body is primed, temperature is up, warm, pliable, ready to go. So um, hopefully that will help you take your performance to the next level in your workout or your run.
Go have a great workout, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.